go or not to go? That is the question so many pilots have. I am in Sussex. Uh, I flew up here from Dunkerswell a couple of days ago with my two small kids uh, in my Cessna 182. Uh, landed on a very bumpy private strip. And the go or no go decision today is based on the conditions, the weather, the wind in particular. There's the, the planned route. And I've got a 30 knot headwind the whole way home. Um, it's actually, the wind is starting to ease a little bit and it's forecast to reduce, but um, my takeoff is okay. The the wind, the runway I'm taking off from, the wind is 20 degrees off, but it's a good belting 25 knots. Um, but that'll help get me off this very bumpy short strip. It's not a short, it's actually a long strip, but it's a very bumpy soft strip uh, with my kids. Finding myself particularly nervous about this flight. Um, departing from a bumpy soft field runway um, into gusty wind. It's, it's, there's no reason why it should be a problem. It's, it's fine, it's within limits for the plane and me. I think because of the strength of the wind, there's gonna be a lot of turbulence on the way back and I'm slightly concerned that the children might get air sick and if they do, to have two screaming kids in the back of the plane while I'm trying to fly, uh, fly home, might not be good. So I may have to do a diversion and a landing if they end up being too uncomfortable. But what I'm hoping is they're gonna sleep. They should be exhausted. They've been running around playing for a couple of days. Um, and they do often sleep in the plane, so hopefully they're going to sleep. And then, if they do, so the wind is 300 at 32 knots. That's at 5,000 feet. Um, it won't be as bad lower down. But it is going to be a very strong crosswind when I get to Dunk as well. Now, what I've done that's made my, my decision has been really touch and go for a while. Um, in the end, the thing that made me happy to make the decision a go is that setting up this airfield, Eggersford, as my alternate, uh, because the runway there is plenty long, 700 metres nearly, uh, and it's directly into wind, runway 29, so it's directly into the wind. So if I get to Dunk as well and the crosswind is too severe or too gusty or I've got any concerns whatsoever about landing the plane at Dunk as well, then I've got a short, probably, I don't know, 10, 15 minute uh, trip to the alternate where um, the runway there is directly into wind. So that's my decision to go. Beautiful visibility, it's gonna be stunning up there. It's nearly Cab OK, there's a few scattered clouds at sort of 5,000 feet, so it should be fun. Just not sure how bumpy it's gonna be and, and how the kids are gonna handle that. And because of the uh, very strong headwind, we're looking at a 15 to 20 minute longer flight than it would normally be. Um, so they're gonna have an hour and probably realistically an hour and 20 minutes of quite severe turbulence. Not severe in technical terminology, but severe for the ch for children. But I've told them it's going to be very bumpy, and they're like, they they seem excited about it. So let's see. Worst case scenario, I will have to land um, earlier, but there are plenty of places I can do that. Um, Shoreham uh, has a runway pretty much into wind, uh, and that's very shortly after. That's ten minutes after our takeoff. So Shoreham would be the place I'd go first. Um, we're passing Southampton, Bournemouth. Um, the Isle of Wight, Benbridge is directly into wind. Um, there's Compton Abbas, although it's a bit of a crosswind there. Henstridge, same. Um, East Chinook. There's plenty, plenty of airfields to stop off if I need to on the way. One of the things that makes it very nervous is when I talked to the guys at Dunk as well, I rang them up and said, hey, what's happening? And um, the only thing to land there today is a helicopter. So not a single fixed wing has taken off or landed at Dunk as well all day. But... The weather was much worse this morning. It has, it's getting better and better. And I can I can land at any time up until 8.30. Um, and it's supposed to be easing. So we are flying into improving conditions. Hopefully it means there's going to be hardly anything else in the sky. So we'll have a very quiet flight. Quiet, but bumpy. Anyway, um, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Uh, requesting a traffic service and 
if I may. Um, and we are currently 1,000 feet climbing up to turn on that speed. Number 20, Sierra Squawk 1730. Basic service initially due to your altitude, but I'll upgrade you uh, in the climb. Run the QNH 1003. Daddy? Yes, baby. I see the clouds touching the ground. That means there's a fog. That's rain, actually. Give me a wave, Archie. Okay, go to sleep. Give Archie the cushion, let him go to sleep. Climbing on autopilot at the moment. Got the heading set. What a stunning day. Can't believe we're the only plane here. So, um, I've got the autopilot giving me heading and altitude hold. We're at 3,000 feet. Uh, traffic service with Farmer East. And, yeah, takeoff was actually far less tricky than I expected. Uh, we had a very strong headwind, slightly off the right, but got us off the ground very, very quickly. I don't know if the video shows that, I hope it does. And, uh, another 3,000 feet, a bit bumpy, not too bumpy, but there were some big bumps on the way up here. We are the only aircraft uh, getting a service from Farmer Radar today. Either means I'm very stupid, or brave, or a combination of the two. My only real concern is the strength of the crosswind and the dunk as well. So by the time we get there, it's going to be, they're going to be closed, I'll be on the radio. I'll be having to look at the windsock from the air, from the sky. I'm going to give it, I'll, I'll do a low approach in any case. Uh, and if the low approach goes well, and it's looking smooth and not too bad, I'll, I'll set it down. If it's too bad, and if I'm not happy about it, the landing at Dunkerson because the crosswind is too strong, then I have my ultimate set up, Eggersford, uh, which uh, that runway there is directly into the wind. So, um, hopefully it'll be an uneventful flight between here and Dunkerson. Um, let's have a look at what our recording screen anyway, but just anyway, let's have a look at our ETA now. ETA at Dunkerson, 540. But what a beautiful day, and very nice to know that there's nothing else in the sky. I've still got my uh, sky echo on, in any case, but I can't see a single other aircraft out there. Does that make me crazy? Or foolish? Or both? Um, the autopilot's doing a pretty good job, considering how bumpy it is out there. You can see the trim wheel there working. Not too hard, actually. But it is working. Um, 23 and a half, 23. T's and P's are all okay. Um, I am going to switch to the right tank because it's much too full compared to the left one. Uh, have a nice sleep, Clara. Whoa! Bumpy, huh? Yeah. Oops. Hey, Yankee Sierra, can you stop your descent at flight level 9 or 0? Stopping 9 or 0, two York shot. Roger, thank you. Oh! What's that we got there? Looks like the helicopter's landing somewhere. Don't turn it off, Roger. Turned into wind. Confirmed, don't turn it off, shot. I think I'm going to also do a flapless landing. Given the wind speed and gustiness. Dunk as well, that is if it's that's a pottery I'm looking at, that's not dunk as well yet. I believe it's the wind that's taken. Yeah, that is a good alternate. I don't know if you can see that. Down there. Yeah. That is the helicopter hovering down there. Yeah. Army helicopter. The wind is straight down that runway. So if a helicopter go out of the way, I could land there. But let's go and try and land a duck as well. <sighs> See how we get on. A nice long runway for it to roll out, but I'm expecting to go around. Our flaps are open, flaps are on 10, don't need to change the flaps if I do go around. Red screens, blues are full forward, that's fine. Hello, please, zero, zero, one more final runway. I've been 
Yeah, because it was so bumpy. That was the worst turbulence I've ever flown in. Really? Yeah. Bumped my head on the ceiling a couple of times and lots and lots of zero gravity just from turbulence. Yeah, the flight itself was... In, in the end, it was fine, but I was worried about the kids getting air sick. And that's one of the most challenging landings I've had to do. But I was right on the brink of going around and it just settled down and felt okay, so I put it down. But that strong crosswind, I felt never more have I felt that rule about keep on flying the airplane even when you're on the ground because we were being blown all over the place. In a way, this is the best part of the whole thing, this feeling you have after when you're back at the hangar, everything went okay, it feels great. Thank you for watching and uh, please click like if you did like it and if you haven't subscribed, and you want more vlog, flying, flying vlogs, then do subscribe. Um, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.